Hey guys, brought you out here to the woods today because we're going to be harvesting some arrow shafts and a bow stave. I know just the place to start, so let's get there. Right, look, this is what I'm looking for. Some nice straight arrow shafts in here. Now you want to be looking for different kind of thicknesses depending on how much spine you want to get out of them. These ones would be great and at least four foot long. And this one here, that could be a nice could be a nice longbow. Nice straight one. This is a rock elm and uh, we have a lot of it here in this part of Denmark. You see there's some parts out here as well. We're going to be taking some of those. So you want to get straight ones. This kink right here, that would be difficult to bend out. So avoid that and get someone that's more straight. So here we've got some arrow shots. Like you see, they're not straight at all, but we can bend this out because they're fresh. So what you do, I'll show you later how to bend these out. And to straighten them out so you can make great arrow shafts. Uh, they're largely the same thickness, 10 to 12 millimeters. And remember to cut them just a slightly, slightly thicker than you want them, because you have to take off the bark and that'll, that'll thin them out just a slight tad. So I'll show you the next stages in a couple of minutes. Right. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my primitive arrow shafts. This is how it all begins. We just harvested them uh, about a year, uh, a couple of minutes ago. And um, as you can see, they're not straight at all. But they're still green. So what we can do is we can just simply just bend them roughly into shape. Because the moist fibers inside helps to keep them from breaking. So this is just easily done and you can do this, you should do this, leave the bag on, store them somewhere cold, not too warm, but not wet as such. Then you can just bend them every day and get them more straight. Do this over a period of a couple of weeks and just keep on bending out those little kinks. Already much more straight than a few seconds ago. Now they will tend to try to bend back into the shape that they had. That's why you're going to keep attending to them every now and then. Okay, this one is better. Don't worry about little knots. We're going to take those off later. This is a simple process, and as long as you keep the bag on, they will have will take longer to dry out. As long as you minute you take off the bark, they will start drying really fast, and you will need to apply steam to correct them. Some people recommend using dry heat. I do not recommend that because the minute you apply dry heat, they will tend to harden up, and you will affect the spine of the arrow, and we will actually prefer to keep this process for later so we can make them almost the same spine. This is not the same with sprayer. And after a couple of weeks you can hear them getting drier when you bang them against something. Feel the difference. And then you can start to take off the bark with a little sharp knife. You can simply take off all these little knots that we have right there, little knots. And when you take those off, do it in the direction that they are growing, so you don't split the fibers all the way down. Easier to do it while they're fresh, just roughly it is anyway, and then you can sand them down later. So. 
that's the initial process. Once you get into this rough stage, oh, you can see that. And these are pretty much straight. Bend it up over a couple of weeks, and now they are dry. I can't bend, them, bend these in anymore, otherwise it will try to crack and break. And this one still has the little nuts in them. I don't know if you can see that, the nuts. And what I do then is I took these off with a knife, and I'll just take some 60 grit sandpaper and just ever so slightly sand them down, just on the on the knot here. Initially, anyway. And when I do this, I ensure that the arrow is smooth and slides over your hand later. This process from bending out to this stage here. It's not very long actually, it's only about five minutes a piece, maximum. And then um, the more tedious process comes later. And this is an almost finished arrow shaft, pretty much damn straight. And what I've done here is I've once again took some coarse sandpaper, this is 60 grit, and just sanded down the, the kinks that were left a little bit left and I can simply just sand those out to get a more even and round arrow shaft. Once I've done that I'm um, applying 240 grit sandpaper to get a smooth finish and I'll apply wax or oil or whatever. Now the thick end, notice that these sprouts are not the same thickness. Thin in one end, thick in the one. The thick end is going to be the tip, and the narrow end is going to be the knock. <clears throat> this is because when you apply this, it's heavier on one end than the other because it's more dense here. This is the lower part has been growing for much longer, and it is denser here than up here. So this will be the natural heavier end, giving you a better forward of center. it'll make the arrow fly better. So that's the initial process. And then um, <clears throat> I'll make a second video on how to fletch and what kind of tips to use. Now, regarding tips, you can use either pointy tips or you can make blunts for either for some shooting or for hunting small game and birds. That'll, that'll do nicely. So that's the basic process of creating arrow shafts from natural materials. There is a downside to using, to making arrows in this primitive way, that you have a hard time making a completely uniform set of arrows, <clears throat> meaning you can make the same length and overall the same thickness, but weight and spine will not be completely the same throughout your entire set of arrows. So they might weigh the same, but you will have a hard time getting the same stiffness of the arrow, the same spine. You can adjust this using the dry heat to harden up the entire arrow shaft or parts of the arrow shaft if you have a weak spot. Um, but this is, this is a tedious process, it takes a long time, and um, well, you'll have to decide if it's worth it. So. Um, that's the basics. Hope you get to commence with producing some primitive arrows. See you next time. Bye.